Hello, today I'm going to show you how to design a texture brush and use it to create highlights and shadows in your illustrations. Let's open a new document, change the stroke to none and the fill to black. First we will create a design similar to this one. Let's draw a circle. You can either use a perfect circle or you can distort it just a little bit. With the circle still selected, go to Effect, Distort and Transform and choose Roughen. Here you can experiment with the details value, change the points to smooth and adjust the size. After you are done, go to Object and choose Expand Appearance. This will allow you to make any changes later on. Another way to achieve a similar effect is to select the Add Anchor Point tool and add extra anchor points to your path. Now manually adjust the position and curves. And of course you can select the pen tool and draw any shape you wish. Experiment with different shapes, sizes, lines and see what kind of brushes you can create. I'm going to use the first shape. Let's scale it down to about 20 pixels. Next open the Symbols panel and drag this shape into it. If you like you can give it a name and click OK. We can delete this. Next click on the Symbols Prayer tool, hold and click on this little arrow to separate this window from the rest. Let's move it up. Using the left or right bracket keys on your keyboard, we can adjust the size. Now click, hold and drag to create lots of shapes. If you would like to learn more about the symbol sprayer tool and how to use it, please check out my previous tutorial. I've included a link to it in the description. When you are done, go to Object and choose Expand. Repeat this step one more time. Then right click with your mouse and choose Ungroup. Now we can manually adjust the shapes, make copies or resize them. Try to keep the smaller shapes to the outside. Now select everything and open the brushes window. Let's resize it and drag it into this window. Select the scatter brush and click OK. Now set all the options to random and change the colorization method to tints. This will allow you to use different colors later on. Now delete everything from the artboard. Make sure the new brush is selected. Get rid of the fill. And press the letter B for the paintbrush tool. Now let's draw a straight line to test our brush. Right now there is too big of a gap between the brush elements. We can change this. First switch to the Direct Selection tool and select the existing path. Next double click on the brush we created and let's make some adjustments. Depending on the look you want, you can change the size, spacing, scatter or rotation. In our case we want to bring the brush elements closer together. Highlight the number in the spacing window and using the up or down arrow keys on your keyboard adjust the spacing. Make sure your preview box is checked to see what we are doing. When you are satisfied with the look click OK. Now switch to the paintbrush tool again. Pick a different color and create another path. If you would like your path to be wider or narrower, open the stroke panel and adjust the stroke's weight.
In the second part of this tutorial, I will show you how you can use a texture brush to add highlights or shadows to your illustration. For this project, you will need some kind of illustration. If you don't have anything ready, you can draw a simple circle, or if you decide to use the same pumpkin illustration as mine, here is a free Adobe Illustrator file I've included for you to download. You will find a link to it in the description below. And these are the colors I will be using. After you download the pumpkin image, right click on it and select Ungroup. This will allow you to select each shape individually. Now we will need our texture brushes. Here are the brushes that I created previously. I use the same procedure to design this as the one we made. And we are ready to add texture to this pumpkin. First, make sure you use the Direct Selection tool. Then click on the path of the first shape. Let's change the fill to medium orange. Next, select the Draw Inside mode. This will give you an option of drawing inside the selected shape. As soon as this option is selected, Illustrator creates a border around the selected shape. Now anything you draw will appear only inside this shape. Next, swap the fill and the stroke. Make sure the stroke is on top and change its color. Then select one of the texture brushes you've created and draw a single path along the left side. If you wish, you can always open the stroke panel and change the stroke's weight as desired. I'm going to use the second brush I've created and apply another stroke to the same side. Then choose the dark orange and add a shadow to the other side using the same method. Before you can start coloring the next segment, first you will need to get outside of this mode. To do this, either press the Shift and D keys on your keyboard or click on the Draw Normal mode. And we are ready to paint the next shape, repeating the same steps like we did with the first shape. So, first switch to the Selection tool Click on the path of the second shape. Change the fill to medium orange. Select the draw inside mode. Swap the fill and the stroke. Change the stroke to light orange. Select your brush and start painting. Press the letter B for the paintbrush tool. To move the artboard, press and hold down the spacebar and while you are still holding the spacebar, click, hold and drag your mouse. To zoom in or out, hold down the Alt key and while you are still holding the Alt key, use the scroll wheel of your mouse. And now start painting. If you need to adjust the path, Switch to the Direct Selection tool and move the anchor points. Now repeat the same steps with all the other shapes. Finally, if you like, you can add a shadow. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.